Squeak's rainbow party. Squeak loves rainbows. She paints them. She enjoys looking at other children's rainbow artworks. She's always the first mouse in the family to spot a rainbow arching across the sky, and she knows how rainbows are made. Squeak will tell you that rainbows are formed when the pure light from the sun hits a raindrop. Pure white light is actually made up of wavelengths of different colours. And when the sun's light hits a raindrop, the waves bend or refract and the white light separates into seven colours. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Squeak knows a song that helps her remember the colours of a rainbow. Squeak can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. Violet and indigo, blue and green, yellow, orange and red. It's a very useful song to learn because it'll help you remember where each colour sits in a rainbow. Red is always at the top and violet is always at the bottom. When Squeak has to name the colours of the rainbow from the top to the bottom, she uses the name Roy G. Biv as a reminder. The R stands for red, O for orange, Y for yellow, G for green, B for blue, I for indigo and V for violet. Squeak was very excited when her mum told her she could have a rainbow-themed birthday party. She immediately set to work making colourful rainbow bunting and fancy party hats for her friends and family. Her little sister Buttercup helped her by drawing rainbows on the invitations. The invitations read, You are invited to a rainbow party. Please bring her. And then there was a space for Squeak to fill in a different colour. Friend. Date 18th of October. Venue the Old Mill. Squeak decided it would be fun to have a treasure hunt around the garden, looking for different rainbow-coloured flowers. The flowers could then be used as decorations for the party. As for finding rainbow-coloured party food, well, that was easy. Look how pretty that fruit bowl looks. Which fruit would you like to nibble? And I'm sure Squeak's mum would make cheerful, colourful cakes too, after all, what's a party without rainbow cookies, yellow custard slices and doughnuts dripping with pink icing? Now we'll just have to wait until the party to find out which colourful guests will be attending Squeak's vibrant birthday party. Until then, let's look at some of the new words which were used in today's story. Arching. Remember Squeak is always the first mouse in the family to spot a rainbow arching across the sky. The word arching comes from the word arch and an arch is usually a curved part of a structure that is over an opening and serves as a support. In this photograph the arch frames the golden statue and here an arch doorway leads to a building with a blue clock on its wall. This one, a series of arches, form an entrance to a hotel. And here are paintings decorated on the wall above three arches. You can even find natural forming arches, like this interesting rock formation which arches across a road. Can you remember Squeak set about making rainbow coloured bunting for her party? Bunting are rows of brightly coloured small flags that are hung across roads, rooms or doorways as decoration for special occasions. Refraction Refraction happens when light changes direction or bends when it moves from one material to another. For example, light travelling through air refracts when it hits water and this can make a pencil in a glass of water look bent at the surface of the water. Now here's a fun activity for you to try. Why don't you make your own rainbow? 
you're going to need a torch, a smooth glass without any patterns on the outside. The glass must be filled right up to the brim with water. Be careful not to spill. A white background will make it easier for you to see your rainbows. Shine the torch at an angle through the glass of water. You're going to need to do it slowly. Move the torch around until you begin to see colours in the light shining through the water. You may want to try this in a darkened room. Have fun experimenting making your very own rainbows. And here's a tiny clue. Just one of the guests who's going to be coming to Squeak's Rainbow Party.